All right, we have another nice day today. So I am going to take the Shelby gun. And now it's time for one of my favorite things ever. And that's a cold start in the Shelby. Honestly, that never gets old, that sound. It's gonna be a little tricky today, shifting and holding the camera at the same time. So I may not film as much this morning, but that's okay. Just wanna get a little taste. We've been paying attention a little bit to the E-Ray lately, and uh, we're actually on a list for it. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, especially after just buying the M2. The whole feature of the E-Ray of stealth mode, where you can pull out of your driveway in your neighborhood quietly, that's not really for me. That's not something that appeals to me. I like making noise. Of course, I'm not leaving it super early in the morning or coming in super late. I guess if I was one of those people, maybe I would be a little more concerned about it. whenever I'm driving, especially in this car. Of course, we don't live in a neighborhood where the houses are all clumped right together either, which is nice. Woo! A little right foot steering. Right. The tires are a bit cold. These PS4s actually do very well with traction in all kinds of weather conditions. Well, I haven't tried them in snow and, and and we'll never do so intentionally, but as far as rain, they do fine. As a matter of fact, the Pirellis on the uh, BMW, I'm not 100% sure about yet. Uh, I have a feeling that when they wear down, I'm going to switch out to the PS4s on the M2 as well. We had a beautiful day in the M2 on the Foothills Parkway yesterday. The leaves are changing. Um, it was just perfect conditions, be beautiful weather. Uh, th that video would be coming up later if it's not already up fortunately our dog Gracie seems to be doing better she's holding down her rice diet right now we we haven't switched her back to her regular food yet that'll probably be a couple days before we do that but everything seemed good yesterday and this morning so we're both we're, we're very happy about that um, that's why we were able to go out on the foothills parkway yesterday all right taking off from first gear trying to shift steer and hold a camera at the same time. This is gonna be fine. All right, here we go. Yep, I cut the camera off when I did that. That didn't work. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to get a camera mount if I'm gonna do any more filming in the car. My wife did a great job yesterday uh, videoing the Foothills Parkway trip. She has a knack for it, I think. But I definitely need a camera mount for the car. I've been driving for just a few minutes now, and I mentioned in another video how I have to wait for the oil temperature to get up to 180. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's at 167 now. And I can't go over 4,000 RPMs until it gets over 180. Um, I mean, I can, but it's not good for the engine. You're not supposed to do that. So when I get in the car, first thing I do is turn it over, turn this gauge to the oil temperature. And then when it hits 180, I just change it back to its normal setting. It's that way I'm always aware of what's going on with the oil temperature when I'm first starting out in the car. It's real tricky trying to shift and film at the same time. All right, the oil temperature is at 180, so when we go under this overpass over here, we're going to try to make a little noise, put the windows down. That's such a beautiful sound. I want to comment on something that I saw on YouTube last night. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Doug DeMuro. I watch most of his videos. And they started a new series on their Cars and Bids uh, channel where they're doing just kind of a little weekly show. And they had a guest on this past week that made the comment that Mustang owners are 
just Mustang owners. They're not car guys. Something something to that effect. It made it sound like if you have a Mustang, then that's all you're inter interested in. And I think there's probably some truth to that for a lot of Mustang owners, um, as there are with a lot of Corvette owners or Porsche owners any, or any other kind. You have, you have those that are just into that car. That's certainly not true in my case. Obviously, you know, I have them too, and I've had other cars, and I love cars. I'm just a car guy. I, I just wanted to put that myth to rest, at least for a lot of us. Yeah, I just don't think that was a very good statement to make, um, and I disagree with it, at least in my case, and in the case of a lot of the guys that I know uh, in our Shelby groups. All right, well, the Shelby's made it to work today. Thanks for riding along for a little bit. I didn't film as much, obviously, because of the whole shifting thing, but one of these days we'll have a little phone mount to go on the windshield and I won't have to worry about that anymore. Shoot, maybe we'll even get fancy and get a GoPro or something. We'll see. Thanks.